And our next guest says that Governor Cuomo should be worried about a possible federal investigation. Let's bring in John Dacus. He's former acting assistant attorney general for civil rights. Um, great to have you. I know that you've written this piece that says that the governor should be worried. What do you think is the most egregious thing that they should be concerned about right now? Well, good morning, Dana. Thanks for having me on. Um, there are several federal criminal statutes that are implicated here. Uh, there is uh, a federal uh, criminal statute for false statements and concealment. There is a federal criminal statute for uh, conspiring to defraud the federal government. And there are several uh, obstruction of justice um, federal criminal statutes. Now, I think what they should be most concerned about um, at the top is that um, the uh, Cuomo administration clearly stonewalled and did not produce data in response to the Department of Justice request for uh, information. That request was made in October. The Cuomo administration did not produce any information, perhaps waiting for a change in the presidential administration. And we know because we know what uh, Governor Cuomo's top aide uh, said the reason was that they did this. And, right. and I'm, this is Secretary DeRosa. Yep. Uh, and I can quote here, she said that Trump uh, directed the Department of Justice to do an investigation into us, and we basically froze, because then we were in a position where we weren't sure if what we were going to give to the Department of Justice was going to be used against us. Now, that makes out a prima facie case for obstruction of justice. Call for number two, guys. New York State, here's what we know as of now. Nursing home deaths, 13,500. Assisted living facility deaths, more than 800 adult care facilities. Nine, total combined is 15,301. It's just extraordinary. You say it's a crime to make false statements to the federal government. It's a crime to conceal information and otherwise obstruct government investigations. That has a ripple effect for the 49 other states who are going through the pandemic as well. If you do not impeach him, but you do strip him of emergency, Emergency powers. How would life change in New York, John? Well, I, I think what many people in New York want, and the, the loved ones of, of the victims of, um, of the governor's policy, want to get the truth out there. They want to know if the governor's uh, March 25th order that compelled nursing homes to take COVID infected patients and that didn't allow the nursing homes to test those people before introducing them back to this vulnerable population caused harm to their loved ones. And, and I think, frankly, just getting the truth out there is something that's very important to many people. John, do you believe that the new Biden administration um, attorney general, if, if Merrick Garland becomes the attorney general, he had his confirmation hearing yesterday, do you have confidence that the investigation into this issue with uh, Andrew Cuomo as the governor of New York will continue? I work with many fine career people at the Department of Justice, and there's some terrific people and terrific leadership um, in the uh, U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District in Brooklyn, which reportedly is investigating this. So I think if we keep politics out of this and we just follow the evidence, um, justice will prevail in the end. And that's my hope. You say the order prohibited nursing homes from testing the patients before admitting them. Governor DeSantis is in Florida. He's saying he did the exact opposite thing, and that saved thousands of lives in Florida. In a word, John, quickly, is that true? Yes, that, that is true. You can read the governor's order, um, which, um, uh, again, March 25th, and you can see the difference. New York had thir over 32,000 deaths last summer from COVID at a time when Florida's deaths were okay. um, in the range of 10,000. Florida has a much larger population yeah. and had only a fraction of New York's deaths. John, thank There's you. There's a reason for that. Yeah, yeah. we'll talk again. Thanks, John Dock is very interesting. Thanks thank very so. much.